Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Um, this is a tour of our Wellington flat. As you may have noticed, I am clearly not among the Wellington uh, vegetation right now. That is true, I'm not in Wellington. I'm currently in Canada. Um, but this is a tour of our flat. We did move out at the end of July, 2022. So this was our flat tour, um, July 2022, and all the stats that I will share after the tour about the cost and the amenities were all true as of that time. So as of July 2022, this was all accurate. Um, we did leave New Zealand, as you may have seen in my previous video. However, I thought that this would be a video that a lot of people might be interested in. I thought it might be really helpful. And it's something I wanted to do the entire time we were in New Zealand and I filmed the content, so I'm still gonna put it up for you. So enjoy the tour of the flat and then stay tuned if you wanna know the cost, etc. Kia ora and welcome to our flat in Wellington. It was a gorgeous day for it, as you can see. And uh, the flat is up a lot of stairs, so a lot of exercise, but that means stunning views. So I'll take it. So here we are approaching the front door and come on in. Okay, so this is our front area when you come in our front door. It's kind of like an enclosed sunroom almost. Um, we use it to store anything that we would normally store in a garage or outdoors that we don't want to get wet. So it has um, my bike. It normally had a couple other bikes as well. So here we are. We are entering the main living space now. So we are downstairs. This is our front hall. We've got a bedroom to the right here. That bedroom belongs to a single person and it has an ensuite. We've got our jackets and shoes on the left and then we've got another really nice big bathroom down here. That is um, our other flatmates also only used by a single person and her room is just over here at this open door. So both the downstairs bedrooms are single bedrooms. Both of them have their own bathrooms. And then we make our way upstairs to where the rest of us live. So on the second floor of the house, you come up the stairs and then you have four bedrooms surrounding the stairs and the kitchen on the left. So here I've taken you over to the kitchen. Welcome to our kitchen. Um, it's a bit rudimentary looking, but it works really well for our needs. So here we have our couch and our table, which we often take outside or collapse to get it out of the way. We have our cooking space. There are eight of us living in this house. Um, it looks like a full functioning kitchen space, which it is. It can be a bit small if there's eight people in the kitchen at once, but that almost never happens. So we've had a lot of fun in here, a lot of flat dinners, um, a lot of cooking together, and we really enjoy it. And we actually have a TV up on that wall bracket now. So here are some herbs that different people are growing, some plants. Um, yeah, it's, it's quite homey to us and it definitely serves our needs. It has all the utensils and everything we would need without us having to purchase them given that we're planning to fly home. Okay, when you leave the kitchen, to the right is the bathroom. This bathroom is shared by the two other single bedrooms, but it's used by all of us for our laundry. So they have a really big space. Um, they use the shower, the toilet, the sink. We use the washer and dryer as a whole flat. We've got a bunch of laundry racks that are normally in there for whoever needs. Okay, this room beside the kitchen is the other couple room. It's huge. It's beautiful. It has a lot of windows and an incredible view. Um, so that's a really awesome room. There's the stairs we came up. There's a single bedroom, single bedroom. Those two share the bathroom. And voila, here is our bedroom. So welcome and come on in. This is my favorite room in the house. So here we are entering our bedroom. We have our dresser, our desk with a window um, with a really nice view out over some of the hills in the neighborhood. My succulents, they look better than that now. Um, yeah, I love doing work here. I feel very cozy, inspired, um, motivated, so it's a great little spot to have a desk. Here's our clothing rack, which has mostly my stuff on it because our closet doesn't have any hanging space. Our bed, our bed is surrounded by four huge windows that go all the way up to the ceiling. It is just the most incredible view. I feel so fortunate every day when I look outside and see that view and we get amazing sunrises over the ocean. So we definitely lucked out. We feel very, very lucky to have this place and we love it a lot. And the high ceilings are 
a definite winner and we have an ensuite as well as does the other couple's room. So here's our bathroom. Um, it's a little bit, I guess, smaller than some of the other ones, but it works perfectly for us and it's so nice to have our own space. We have our own shower, which is really nice and spacious. We obviously have a sink and we have a toilet, so that serves us really well, especially with all the COVID um, lockdowns and isolations and quarantines, etc. that can happen. It's just nice to have your own toilet to use. So here's a bit of an overview. We really love it. Um, it can be a bit small, but it's warm and it's bright and that's the most important to us. And then behind this door, we have huge floor to ceiling storage which is fantastic. We've put our shoes on um, the door behind. We do have some downstairs, but to minimize the chaos downstairs, we have some there. I'll just show you my side of the closet. I'm on the right. Um, yeah, it's just got a lot of storage on the shelves and this map of New Zealand where we have highlighted all the different places that we've gone to. And as you can see, there's a lot of green on there. We've really made tracks around this country and we love it and we've actually Highlighted a lot since this was filmed. So there's our um, kind of storage overview. And one last look at our room. And now we're heading out to the deck. So this is actually off the kitchen, but I filmed it afterwards. This is my favorite place in the whole house other than our bedroom. It is so sunny. It's so huge and beautiful. It has the most incredible view. Um, we've got a big fajoa tree. We've got a lemon tree which you can see right there. To the right, we've got a lavender bush, and then we've just got this view of the city, the ocean, the mountains. I mean, it's got everything. I don't know, I just feel so incredibly lucky that we have this outdoor space. And um, even in lockdowns, I've never felt cooped up with it. So it's been really fantastic to have. I love coming out here to enjoy. And at the back there, we do have a laundry rack that um, pops up. You can see those windows go into the other couple's bedroom. So they do have an incredible view. So that is our flat. Okay guys, so I hope you enjoyed the tour of our humble little abode. Um, making that video was really fun. I really loved that flat. So we did live in two different flats when we were in New Zealand. We lived in one for about, I don't know, I think we lived there for eight months, so maybe two thirds of a year. Um, and then the rest of the time, the rest of the two and a half years that we were in New Zealand, we were in this flat. And I, sorry, I'm filming outside, so can you hear the plane? So I only filmed this one because this is where we were before we left. This is where we really lived. We really made it our home. We really enjoyed. Um, at the time that we found this flat, flatting was extremely competitive. There was hardly anything in Wellington. It is very expensive and there are very poor quality flats. So cold, not insulated, moldy, damp. As soon as you get there, um, if you're looking for a flat, you'll see what we mean. Okay, so here are the stats that I wrote down. So the flat stats. So our flat had eight people, six bedrooms, and six full bathrooms for a total weekly cost of $1,600 for the whole house. So that was split between the six bedrooms. Our room was $316.67 weekly. So ours was a couple's room en suite. Um, which breaks down to 158.34 per person weekly for the room and the flat, okay? Then, as a group of people, we agreed that everyone living there would pay $20 per person per week. So you pay your rent weekly in New Zealand, so on top of our 316.67 for the whole room, we paid an extra $40 because there was two of us, bringing our weekly rent up to $356.67 as our living cost per week. Per person, that breaks down to $178.34 per week. If you'd prefer to think about that monthly, because I know that in Canada at least you pay monthly, that is, with utilities included, $1,426.68 per month, or because it was split between two people, you could consider it $713.34 per month 
per person. Okay, so that was our room. Our room was the second largest room and definitely the second nicest in the house. The other rooms, in case you're curious, so there was a much larger couple's room, much, much larger than ours. Theirs was $350 per week without utilities. So theirs was about $40 a week more expensive than ours. With utilities, it brought theirs up to $390.67 a week for the whole room, not per person. So again, about $40 more than ours. A single room with an ensuite, which was downstairs, both the single rooms with their own bathrooms were downstairs when you first came in. Those were each $254.17 per week, including utilities. And the single rooms upstairs, which had the large shared bathroom that had our laundry machine in it, were both $248.67 per week. So there was about a $6 per week difference between the single rooms with the ensuite and the single rooms with the shared bathroom. So definitely the people with the ensuite had the good deal. All of those costs added up to about $1,600 per week. Our rent did go up right before we left, which is why there's all these weird cents on the end of every person's um, rent cost. So yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if rent goes up again, you know, with every year. But as of July 2022, those were the rates we were paying. Our location was Kelburn which was an amazing location. I would highly recommend it. It's walkable into the city. It's a gorgeous area. It's quiet. It's incredibly lush. It's up on the hill, so a lot of the houses have the view like what we had. Um, it's super close to the botanical gardens, very easy access to the highway for work. So for us, it was the perfect location. So that's all that I have in terms of just stats. Um, I'm happy to do a more specific video about living in New Zealand in general and finding flats. But I thought I would keep this one just focused on our flat and how much it cost and what it was like. Um, a few key things to highlight about the flat. It was insulated. It had double glazed windows, which is where they like popped an extra window <laughs> kind of on top of the existing window that you could pop out. So not like American or European double glazing, but better than nothing. We had radiators in every room and we had centralized heating. So our flat was super warm and dry, which was a huge plus for us because I cannot stress enough how poor quality a lot of the housing in Wellington is. It's super common for people to just casually talk about their moldy rooms, um, the dampness. It's just, it's honestly, it's very unhealthy for your lungs and I was really grateful and it was a huge priority of mine to have a lot of natural light and to have a warm, dry flat. So. That's how much we paid to have that and to have the view and the uh, living situation that we had. And for us, it was perfect. Um, so I hope that you found this video helpful. If you have any other questions like, I don't know, cost of living in general or more general things about flatting in New Zealand, I'm very happy to create another video. Um, just to keep this one short and focused though, everything I could think of that was super relevant to our flat. So I hope that you found this helpful and um, I do plan to make more about New Zealand before I start talking about what's happening now in Canada and uh, the exciting things coming up. So I'll see you in my next one. Bye.